Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna show you guys another cool mod today and this mod is called the World Downloader Mod for Minecraft 1.3.2. Now what this mod basically does is that when you join a multiplayer server you are capable of downloading their world save and you can be able to play on it in single player. Yes, this mod can be considered stealing since you are downloading somebody's server save without permission but uh, yes, if you guys don't support this mod, don't take your anger on me because I'm showing you guys this mod. I just want to, you know, show you guys what mods are out there for Minecraft 1.3.2. So let's go ahead and check out what this mod does. Let's go to multiplayer and join any server that I have listed out that I found in Planet Minecraft. So I'm going to join the pumpkin patch. I'm going to join this and there we have it. I have joined the server. I'm brand new to the server and I have some items in my inventory. So anyways, guys, if you do download this, you know, save this server, you will not keep your items so you're just gonna download the whole entire save so while you're downloading this save it's best to load as much chunks as you can uh, in the server because if you don't load that much chunks around this whole entire server then you cannot download the whole entire server but um, anyways let's go ahead and check out what this server provides it provides a really nice castle let's say I want to keep this castle I'm not sure if this is considered a castle let's just say it's a tower and it does have some signs which will save as well even if they're colored uh, yes, you could download these as well. Can I grief? Yes, indeed. So I could grief in this server? It's pretty interesting. I'm gonna grief this sign. Nope, there's protection here. But anyways, guys, there is a guy right here who's looking at me. I don't know who this is, but uh, let's go ahead and check this out. Safe zone ends here. <laughs> I'm not in the safe zone. All right, so let's go ahead and download this whole entire server that I have loaded, the chunks, the jungles over there, everything around here. If I pull out a map, it will uh, download the whole entire map since I did load all of these chunks here. But uh, it's best to explore the whole entire server if you want the whole bundle. It looks like somebody griefed the house right here. But let's go ahead and press escape and you should see that there's a button right here. Download this world. If you click on this button, you're going to see on the chat it's going to say world download start downloading. So it's going to start downloading the map and you just explore, mess around, load some more chunks. You saw those mountains over there? I'm loading those chunks because it will start to download. And there we have it. I'm downloading the world while I'm talking to you guys running around. Holy cow, this is like the best house in the whole entire server. Wow, do you guys see this? This is like a beauty. Mr. Danny can't compete to this. No, he can't. He can't compete to this. Nope. Okay, so after enough exploring, you can see I'm still downloading those chunks over there. Once you have, you know, got everything that you wanted, let's say you wanted that, you know, tower right there. Now what you have to do is press escape and put stop downloading. So it's going to stop downloading the server. Once you have clicked that, you're going to see it's going to say saving. And now it's going to say right here, downloading stop saved in single player world, pumpkinpatch.org. So now let's go ahead and check this out. I'm going to press escape, go to disconnect. I'm going to go to single player and there we have it. There is the world that I have just downloaded from a server. And remember, there isn't a server that can prevent you from downloading their server. So if you join Bashcraft, so if you join, I don't know, Bebop Box, uh, if you download anybody's server, you could download it because there isn't a plugin that could prevent this mod from working. So let's join this world and check out. Let's check this out. Let's see it's building terrain and there we have it. So it will spawn you somewhere different, but I guarantee you that you will have the same server. Let's check out if I could find that tower. Oh, there's the awesome house. There you have it. The awesome house is right here. And I am in creative mode. If you notice in the server, I was in survival mode. But since this is in your single player save, you could do whatever you like to it. You could actually grief this place since they said you're allowed to grief. Well, I'm going to come over here and grief this sign, which is in there because I broke it earlier. So there we go. I just griefed the sign. They said I could grief. Well, then there we have it. So did he notice that the color did? Oh, wait, my item saved as well. Yeah. So I guess the forum creator did made a little mistake. Uh, he said that the items do not save as well, but they do. So you do have your items while you download this map. So that's pretty interesting to know. So there you guys have it. You could download this world save and you could download and save your inventory. So while you're playing, you could download inventory as well. And here's an awesome village that these guys probably made. Another thing I would like to say is that to use this mod at your own risk. If you tell the server admins or the host that you are downloading their server without their permission, well then you probably end up getting banned or kicked or they'll probably say don't do it. So use this mod at your own risk, just keep it you know, to yourself, just download the world if you like. Now if you notice, I didn't load these chunks over here, check this out. So it cut off right here because I did not load these chunks. So all of these chunks from that little tower all the way over there, 
has loaded and I have downloaded this whole entire map but like I said it's best to explore the whole entire server in order to download the whole server so there you have it and try not to download somebody's server and re-upload it onto planet minecraft and say that you claimed it all as your own and you created yourself then you'll get in trouble since you did not create this world you're just downloading it without permission so there you guys have it if you guys are still interested in this mod you want to know how to install this mod you want to download somebody's server well then let's go ahead and see how to install this mod thank you guys so much for rating my videos i really do appreciate it yesterday's video got a ton of likes you guys are awesome and there's like about 14 of you guys who really didn't like the trampoline mod i do understand it was a really small mod but let's go ahead and install this mod Alright, so let's go ahead and install this mod. This mod is really easy to install, so we shouldn't have any errors. But the first thing I'm going to want to do, of course, before installing any mods, is to go here to Options and Force Up to McGeem. The reason why I'm going to Force Up to McGeem is because I have mods currently installed. If you guys have mods currently installed, always recommend to back them up because you're never too sure if this mod is compatible with any of your mods. If it's not compatible, you will get black screen and you won't be happy. So Options, Force Update, and Login to download a brand new Minecraft thought jar in which we're going to mod. I'm going to go ahead and leave this updating so I'm gonna minus this and you're gonna get the downloads from my description it's gonna take in my website you're gonna get the world downloader mod and that's basically it you don't need mod loader or any of that stuff so just drag it here to the desktop in which you can see this mod better and let's go ahead and install this mod I'm gonna go to start search program file I'm gonna type in percent app data percent and for Windows XP users you should see somewhere around here run and you run percent data percent it should take you up here to the roaming folder. Click on the roaming folder and you should see dot minecraft in the very top. You're going to go into your dot minecraft folder, you're going to see bin, resources saved and everything else. Go into your bins folder before you open up your minecraft dot jar that's located in your bin folder. You have to make sure you have your minecraft game closed. Here's my minecraft game that I just forced updated. You have to exit off your minecraft game before installing any mods. So exit off your minecraft game. Now the now what you're going to do is right click your minecraft dot jar that's located in your bin folder. Open with WinRAR. Already sent zip opener. You're gonna open up your Minecraft thought jar with WinRAR. Go ahead and open that up and move it aside. The first thing you have to do, of course, before installing any mods is to delete meta inf. You have to delete meta inf. So right click meta inf and delete files. Say yes and delete meta inf. Now meta inf's gone, now we can continue. Go ahead and open up the world downloader mod. So go ahead and double click that and move it aside. What you're gonna do is just highlight these files and drag them into your Minecraft thought jar side and replace press OK and you are done. That is basically how to install the mod. All you have to do is just open up the files from here and drag it into your minecraft.jar site. It's not really that hard. It's very simple to install these mods. I'm not sure why I'm still making a tutorial on a very small mod, but I just wanted to make a tutorial today because I had a lot of free time. So I'm going to go to multiplayer, and now I'm going to go to any server. So I'm going to join this PvP faction server. And there we have it. I am now in the server, and I'm new to this server as well. I do have some items. And holy cow, what if I want this tree? This tree looks pretty awesome. I want this tree, so I'm going to keep this, and this, wow, this is a huge place. So I'm going to download this tree. So I'm going to press escape, go to download this world, and just wait a little bit. I'm going to just walk around for a bit, you know, just jump around, you know, act like act casual, you know, a casual player. Fall down here. Where, where am I going to go? Holy cow, that's so awesome. So I'm going to download this whole entire castle-looking thing. This is amazing. I'm going to download this. Can you guys believe that? That's insane. Look at how awesome this place looks. So once I'm done, I'm going to press escape and press stop downloading. Now it's going to be saving the world data and just wait a little bit. And once it's done, just go ahead and disconnect, go to single player and the IP should be listed up here as a title and just join the server. And there we have it. So now you are going to be able to play your server or your single player with the server. And at first you're going to be falling down like crazy. You probably end up dying. It does look like I'm going to die. Nope, there we are. So now I'm in single player, and there we have it. I could turn on game mode and fly up there, and now I have downloaded everything that the server had to provide, except for the plugins, obviously. You're just downloading the world. You're not downloading plugins or any of that stuff. So there you have it, guys. That's what you just saw in front of my face earlier right now in the server. So there we have it. So anyways, guys, thank you guys for all your support. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. See you around.